Morning all. It is an awful day in Brisbane today. It's about 14 degrees, raining. And that means that these Australis are not even considering flying. So it's a great time to work them. So Australis splits is what you want. Australis splits is what you're going to get. All right. Here's the hive we're going to split today. Now this one's going to be a little bit different. Um, these guys are in our 4 litre vertical splitting box. And despite these guys doing really well in here, I think the box is a little bit big for them. So what we're going to do is split this box and I'm going to transfer the back half of it into our smaller Australis box. So these guys are 2.5 litres. These guys are four liters. Okay, so these are these are more our tetragonular boxes. So um, anyway, we shall uh, crack on with it and see how we go. So what I'm going to do is just remove the viewing panel completely, um, split this box down the center. It does have two brood support rods going through the brood like that. So we'll just see how um, how the brood separates. And then I'll be, I guess, I'm going to remove this right hand brood rod. And hopefully the brood will just um, be easily removed and placed into the new box. And then I'll just transfer a, a bit of honey. And we shall go from there. Okay, let's get into it. And obviously I'll be looking for queen cells on both sides. And I'll keep my eye out for the queen as well. All right, guys, so here's a really good example of how Australis brood works. I've done this before, but I'll do it again because it's a good example. So that big hole in the middle of the brood you can see there, um, that is the retreating edge. That's the oldest brood, the pupil brood. If you look really closely, you can actually see some bees moving around inside those silk cocoons. But note how the queen is back in the middle there. So with Australis brood, they'll start laying in the middle and that brood will form a ball. Okay, so imagine like a golf ball and the advancing front. So the open brood cells where the queen is laying eggs will be on the outside of that ball and that ball will expand. So your golf ball will turn into a tennis ball and a cricket ball and then a softball, which is about what we've got here, maybe a bit bigger than a softball. Um, and all the time that brood is expanding, the advancing front, so the open brood cells where the queen is laying, will be on the outside. When that brood that was first laid, so the stuff in the middle, when it was back being a golf ball, when that comes of age, it starts to hatch out, and you end up getting this gap inside this, this uh, big ball of brood. And that gap gets progressively bigger and bigger and bigger. And as is the case uh, with this brood here we're looking at, um, you can see all the open pots there on the outside. This brood has reached probably about as big as it was ever going to get inside this box here. And you can see all those open pots and they go right around the outside of the brood, all over the top, all underneath. They'll be everywhere on the outside. Now the queen, because this brood is about as big as it's going to get, and there's the gap in the middle from the retreating edge, that older brood hatching out. See how she's in there? She'll be going back into the middle to start laying new brood back in the middle there. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool thing, the old ball of brood. So, when you go to split Australis, you can do it um, a couple of ways. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. Because it's a ball, you'll have old brood on the inside, new brood on the outside, or vice versa, you'll have new brood on the inside and old brood on the outside. So, if you split it horizontally, like I'm indicating there, you're going to get a good mix of old brood and new brood. You're getting the new on the outside, the old on the inside. And if you split it vertically, like we're going to do in this case here, you're going to get exactly the same thing. New brood on the outside, old brood underneath, or sort of in, in the middle of it. So yeah, it doesn't matter. They're very, very accommodating, which is just awesome. So we'll just crack on here in a minute. And we'll get this box apart. Okay. Put that camera set up. 
cleaners in the middle there, so I've got to be a little bit careful. So I'm just going to get the heel of my knife just to get the box started to open. I'll move on to something a bit more substantial so I don't break my knife. Okay, got one side opening up. Spin the box around. So I'm just, as I pull the box apart, remembering that there are two stainless steel brood rods that go through that brood like this. Just looking, I'm moving the box, but the brood isn't moving, which tells me that the, it looks like the stainless rod on this side is going to pull straight through the brood, which I don't want. So what I'll do is I'll just get Just get another piece of wire, just bear with me for a tick. Alright, so I've got another piece of wire here. I'm just going to stick it in the hole in the side of the hive. And what I should be able to do is just push that brood support rod straight out the back. I can see the queen in there. I'll just shine my light in there just to make sure I, make sure I don't hurt her. Okay, there's our brood support rod out. So that's out. So now We'll see what happens when I separate the box. Yeah, okay, that's better. So the brood is staying all in this right-hand side of the box here as I remove the left-hand side. It's a bit of honey on the join, but that's okay. Okay, so there's the back half of our box there. It's just got honey in it here, which I'll pull all of that out and put that into the new hive. So I'll just sit that over there for a tick. And here is this beast here. How awesome is that? So basically I'm going to take all of this brood here and put it straight into the new box. Carefully, carefully. Okay. I'll just whack my head torch on here. So I might just sit it up like that. Let's have a quick look for where the queen is. So the, I've got to be a bit careful here because the queen is in that hole there. I might sit it like that. Hopefully you guys can still see that. Yep, I might just sit it like that just so I can keep an eye on the queen. And I'll just go in gently with my spatula. Stabilise this box a little bit. All right.
Okay, there's our first little chunk. I can see that the queen is right on the end of my palette knife there. Oops, no, don't come up here, sweetheart. Lovely to see you, but I don't want you in this half of the box. I suppose it's not really going to matter. Okay. So, just arrange these boxes here. So I ended up putting the queen into the new box. Just make sure you can see that. Let's grab this camera. Okay, so the queen is now in this new box here. There she is right there, in the middle of the screen. So the original box is now queenless. Okay, so I have to make sure that there are queen cells in this half of the box. So what I'll do is I'll just transfer some that honey into this new box. But I'll just check this box here for queen cells first, eh? Okay, so this is the original box here. You can see it's got a boatload of pollen in the very front of the box here. Queen cell wise, there is one down in there in that retreating edge in the pupil brood. It's really hard to, well, I can't get it on film. It's sort of down inside there a little bit. There's another one here, right on the end of my finger. Let's see if it'll focus on that. God damn it. Hang on a minute. Can you see that one there? Now that's a fairly new one there, so that guy there won't be ready to hatch out for quite some time. Um, yeah, that's a bit better. There. Um, but the one that's uh, down inside there, and look, you know, there's probably going to be three or four in there. Um, They'll be hatching out very shortly, so I'm happy with that. All looks good. Cool. All right, folks, we are done. So this is the original box, the big box, all back together. They look really good. days very happy with that they've got heaps of food down the bottom there tons of honey front of the box has got tons of pollen in it so but they have no queen okay so this is the queenless half but they will be fine okay I'll just give you a look at the other box Okay, and here is the other half of the split that is put into a, a, um, into the new box. So we've got our brood support rods going through there. These girls will attach that brood to those brood support rods overnight, I would suggest. But they'll, um, they'll come upstairs now. There's our queen right there. Oh uh, yeah, these guys will come upstairs tonight and um, go under a heated blanket just to keep them warm. And, uh, and productive. Happy days. It's a really good sized brood. I'm really impressed with um, 
with the size of the brood, given the conditions that we've had in Brisbane, it's pretty amazing. These guys were transferred from a log initially. Um, let me see when that was. There you go. So this, um, the original boxes are log transfer done on 28-11-21. So not even a year ago. They look excellent. Good stuff. Righty all. That's a wrap. Be good to yourselves.